Hello everyone, thank you for your watching and in this video I'm going to share with you a very classic math puzzle which is called the Bug Eating Puzzle and the name of this puzzle is the Solitary 7 so as you can see this is a very classic uh, long division and there's only one number given in the division process which is the 7 so this uh, this puzzle is very classic and I remember I watched a, I watch a um, Math for Fun book when I was in uh, high school and I saw this puzzle and then now I'm going to solve this um, few years later, okay? So uh, you may pause the video to try to solve this problem and this is so fun to solve it. So we have our first observation and of course we start from the 7 and you can see that the divisor is a 3 digit number right this is the divisor and when it is multiplied by the 7 the result is also a 3 digit number so the 100 digit of the divisor must be 1 and if the hundred digit is more than one say and uh, two something something when it is multiplied by seven it will be at least uh, 1400 something and this is not the case because uh, the number here is only a three digit number so we know that this number must be equal to one and we work backward and because uh, the maximum number of the result is only 999 right so when one something something multiplied by 7 it is at most 999 right so now we can divide the 7 on the right hand side and when 999 is divided by 7, it is equal to 142.7 something. So we know that the divisor must be at most 142. Now our second observation is the leftmost digit of the quotient, which is here. Because the divisor now is at most 142, right? And we see that this number, its result, is a four-digit number. And the least four-digit number is 1,000, right? So when 1,000 divided by 142, which is equal to 7.0422, so we know that the leftmost digit of the quotient must be equal to 8 or 9 so it must be greater than 7 right so uh, we multiply 142 by 9 which is the greatest digit which result in 1278 so this number the greatest value of this number must be equal to 1278 so our third observation is the right most digit of the quotient which is the unit digits and it is equal to the observation 2 because when 142 multiplied by a digit and which is equal to a four digit number we can consider its least value 1000 and we know that this number must also be equal to 8 or 9 and now we know that this bottom number, the maximum value, should be 1278. And also, the number above it should be the same as the number below because after the, uh, after the uh, subtraction process, the remainder is zero, right? So this number, the maximum value of these two numbers should be equal to 1278 at the same time. So our fourth observation is the 10th 
tens digit of the quotient, which is this guy. Notice that there's a very special pattern. These two number, when we do the division process, these two number is brought down at the same time to these two number, right? But you can see that for the other process, it only brought down one number at a time. So why will two number be brought down in this case? Let's consider a very simple division process. So now I do a uh, simple long division, which is 29536 divided by 142, okay? So here why I put a 2, which is 284. And then we minus each one. And then now, notice that I have 113 here. And we have to bring down one more digit from the unit digits of the, uh, of the dividend. So now, we will put a 0 here. And then we will put another number 8. So it is exactly 1136 and the remainder will be 0. So whenever there is two digit brought down at the same time, the quotient here must have a 0. So we know that this digit must be equal to 0. So our fifth observation is the red box here. Notice that we have a four digit number minus a three digit number, sorry, which is equal to a two digit number. And of course it starts with a one, one something. So we will arrange this um, little bit of equation. So the four digit number is equal to the two digit number plus three digit number. So now we know that the two digit number is at most 12, right? And then the three digit number is at most 999, of course. So now we know that the four digit number is at most 1011 because if we add up 12 and 999, we get 1011. And but the, f the least value of the four digit number is 1000. So, we know that the three digit number, oh sorry, must be at least 988. So our sixth observation is the red box here. And notice that it is a three digit number minus an other three digit number is equal to one zero something, okay? So now we know that the top three digit number is maximum value is 999. And then for the answer, the least value of this three digit number is 100. So we, we can put a uh, greater than or equal to sign here. So what is the maximum value of this guy? So this three digit number must be less than or equal to 899. So our seventh observation is the most uh, important one. We gather our information and I already put down in colors here. Notice that these two are the A and the C, these two, these two digits are the same. So now we know that the digit B here, it is of course 
equal to eight or nine also. So now we have three digits A, B, C, and they are eight or nine. So now we analyze their values. When the divisor is multiplied by seven, it is a three-digit number with at most eight nine nine, right? But when the divisor is multiplied by b, it is also a three-digit number, and it is at least nine eight eight. And when the divisor is multiplied by a, it is a four-digit number. So we observe this pattern, and we know that b must not be equal to nine, because if b is equal to nine. Then we don't have another a、uh, higher digit, which is greater than nine, to fit to the A. So B must not be nine. So B must be eight. And then we know that the next digit A and C, they are both nine. So we can obtain our quotient in one shot. The quotient is. Nine seven eight zero nine, and this is our last observation. Observation eight, and we now going to find out the divisor. So notice the red boxes on the right, and we know that the divisor ah、uh, it is at least nine eight eight right. So. We can calculate the minimum value of the divisor, and now when the divisor is multiplied by x, it is equal to nine x x. So the divisor must be greater than or equal to one two three point five. And how about the Maximum value of the divisor. When the divisor is multiplied by nine, ah, sorry, multiplied by eight, its maximum value is nine 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 only because it is a, it is a three digit number, right? So we divide the eight to the right hand side, and we can get one two four point eight seven five. So the divisor. Must be within these two values, which is one, two, four. So we get both the divisor and the quotient in the previous steps, and the rest are very simple, ah,、uh, long division. And we can multiply the divisor and quotient to get the dividend, which is one, two, one, two, eight, three, one, six. And the rest of the division is shown here. So I hope you guys will enjoy this. Fun math puzzle, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.